Hi, this is Britta from mindart.dk and I am back with another artsy second Sunday. This time I will paint these two little guys and this one I have used gesso and I have used clear gesso as a base. I could have chosen to use some matte medium for a more smooth paint because this has a tooth. And the tooth is very good with oil pastels or soft pastels. It is covered with clear gesso, I will show you in the video. And this has no gesso at all. The big difference between the two pages, I think, is that it is easier to work with watercolors or ink when you use it as I do and work with gesso. If you are not going to use gesso or primer in any kind when you work with watercolors, you have to be aware of the white. The white should be the paper itself. Uh, even though there is a white in my box, it is not as good as uh, if I work with the white gesso. So this is made only with the intents and with water. And I have to layer a lot to get the darker colors. And I don't have to do that over here. I paint as I mentioned with intents and these intents blocks I made myself. No, not the intents block, but I made this little guy myself. And I just took my intents blocks, I have this large one, and I cut them to mix into these tubes I have or cubes I had so I had this empty one and then I used it I think you can buy this one from start so you don't have to make one yourself but I, I, I thought it could be fun and I had the empty box lying around anyway so I did that so I paint with this and um, the only thing to be aware of when you paint with uh, inktins is that it is permanent. So when it is lined, it, when it is dry, you can't move it around anymore. You can do that a little longer on the gesso page, but uh, still, when it is dry, it is permanent. Yes, that's what I would tell you about this for now. I hope you enjoy the video. I think I will part it in two. I will play with a page primed with gesso, clear gesso it is, and a page with no gesso. And I will use my homemade art journal. Actually it is my very first art journal I ever made myself. I was very proud of it when I made it, but unfortunately I cut holes through this paper when I put in the elastic. And then I put it away <laughs> because I didn't like it then. Now I am happy that I found it again and sometimes you have to put things away to appreciate it when you see it again. And it is made out of uh, cardboard as the uh, front or the front cover. And it is the paper is made out of Claire Fontaine's paint and multi technique pad. And I think it is 250 gram. And it is excellent to work with on, with watercolors, acrylic, uh, soft pastels, oil pastels maybe, and some ink. I can't understand why I threw it away, because I can always use a collage to, to cover this holes. But <laughs> I didn't think of that at the time. But now it has come out of the corner of shame and I am so glad and I will fill it with beautiful paintings and mixed media projects. This is no gesso and this is gesso. I know I've done this before and now I will do it again. I will prime this with some gesso. I will use the clear gesso this time. It has some tooth to it. And only on this side. And it, it, uh, it will dry up clear. Even though it looks like it is um, 
white now. I think I will find a brush for this because I want it smooth like the paper. I can't use it before it is dry. Oh, no gesso over here. No gesso over here. While waiting for it to dry, I will uh, play with the drawing. As you can see, it is more difficult to erase a pencil mark and I have used the same pencil for this side and this side. So, um, I have to be more precise when I use this um, because I can't erase it. And it is, I don't know if you can see, it's getting dirty when I try. I can use white gesso to erase it, and I will do that. I will still leave this with no gesso. I will bring in the white gesso just to use it on the gesso side. And remember, this is clear gesso I have put on, the, on this side. And now I will use the white gesso to make it. I will, I will use the gesso, white gesso, to erase where I don't want it. I will keep doing this until it is covered. I will make his mouth a little bigger. So I will erase this. And as you can see, I will have to do it a couple of times. I will have to wait for this to dry now, if you don't want to interfere with this. That's why it has to be dry. When it is dry, you can use watercolor, you can use acrylic, you can use oil, as long as it is dry. Just so you know. While this is drying, I just want to continue changing this one, because I'm not quite satisfied with it yet. And that's... Uh, the fun of it, I can just change it. I just don't want to make this arm. Um, I want it to make it a little rounder. And I do want it to be a little cute, you know. Now maybe it is dry enough. I can do this. Okay. Next step is to start painting. You can, of course, use a spray bottle. But I didn't bring that to the table. I think we will use the light one at first. I will take a lot of this. And then I will... And now for the next video in this hub, you can click the first link in the info box below. And if you have not done so already, please subscribe to my channel 
and like and comment on all the videos, of course. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.